Okay, so. Hello everyone, I'm Deepak and uh, I'll be giving you a small briefing on Moerlog. Moerlog is basically a PHP logging library which is used basically for logging purposes. And, uh, and uh, before going, uh, there are certain terms, terminologies that are associated with Moerlog like formatters, handlers, channels and processes. We'll review them shortly. And uh, it's available in Symfony as Moerlog bundle. And before uh, using this service, there are certain small set of configurations in uh, Symfony's config file that should be set up. And once that is done, you can easily use the service. This is a simple architecture of Moerlog. I hear the client can be any uh, developer within a subsystem. So once he decides to log a message, he'll call the logger service. Now logger service, you can call easily inside the controller by just calling the, this get off logger. So once he does that, he'll get an instance of this logger. This instance of this logger will always be uh, uh, named as monolog but logger by default. And uh, its, its default channel will be always app. So uh, um, this logger instance will implement the logger interface. This interface will have appropriate methods like info and uh, critical for all the appropriate log levels. There are I think some five to six log levels, like critical, info, and debug. So for all the log levels, it will contain suitable appropriate methods which you can use for uh, logging a message. And uh, here, uh, coming back here, the, when the, by default, you get the monolog dot logger instance. Say suppose if you want to use a custom logger for sending emails or uh, sending log messages, in that case, uh, you can you have to define a custom channel in Symfony's configuration file. Like say for example, you have, you have defined a custom channel called API, then uh, the log instance that will be created for you will be named after your channel, like monolog.logger.api. So in this case, inside the controller, you can easily call your custom logger, like log this get of monolog.logger. Your channel name, and using that you can do anything. And then logger instance will create a record, and uh, it it will call appropriate handler. Now the handler is the important component here. Uh, it does depending upon your configuration in your config file, you can uh, make the handler uh, send the emails or uh, log the messages to your custom log file, or you can log uh, or you can log the messages to your system log file. You can do many things with handler. It depends on your configuration. And uh, and by default all the by default all the handlers will be available for the loggers. So if you want the if you want the custom logger to call only this particular handler, you have to specify the channel name for this handler in the simplest configuration file. And this handler will process the record. The uh, before that you, you have here configured the format. The format is nothing but uh, it create an output representation for your, for a log message. There are many formatters, built-in formatters, formatters available like. Uh, JSON formatter and HTML formatter, which is commonly used for emails, and line formatter. The default format is always line formatter, <coughs> and uh, any handler can use only a single formatter at a time. So uh, that's the easy, the handler uses the formatter and it will process the record, and the, the processed record which the handler creates will have certain properties like here, the message is the actual log message which you which you send here, and the context where I think it contains the actual values for your message. Say for example, your message has certain placeholders like username or uh, anything, any placeholder. This context should replace the actual values within this message. And level is the log level which you have used to debug this message. It can be anything, any, anything like info debug or anything. And channel is the logger, the different logger which you use to log this message. And extra is typically the data which is uh, added to the log message by the processors. Now this processor is nothing but is mainly used to add or modify your data log message. It typically it typically adds extra data to this message before it it, it logs it. So uh, loggers and handlers can have a set of processors. Um, the, you can configure the processors per handler basis or per logger basis. It depends on the configuration again. And uh, so every record that passes through this logger and handler will always pass through this processor before getting logged. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about the architecture. And uh, coming back to the creation and injection of loggers, as I said, it's already easy to uh, call the logger inside your controller. Say, suppose if you want to call the logger outside the controller, like a request listener or your serve custom services, you can inject this logger service for your uh, request listener in the argument section, like uh, giving, that, giving the logger attribute. And you can also specify the custom channel in your request listener service, like uh, the name of your channel in the tag section. So that's pretty much about more log. I think you can use this because it's pretty easy and efficient. Anything, anything. You covered more about you know monolog in uh, use with Symfony, but yeah. how about other frameworks that uses monolog? Is it available in other it's frameworks? Actually, well? No, I don't think it's available in other frameworks. It's in Symfony and it's inspired, inspired from Python, I guess. Yeah, actually. but you know what I got to know is that it got its inspiration from Python, but yeah. monolog it's a you know, dedicated library in PHP, yeah. and the Symfony got those and then you know, created as a component in its library. Okay. 
So monologue, you know, as far as I understood that it was available in Laravel, Zen, Code Igniter, in you know most of the stuffs to make beautiful log messages. And you said that you know one handler is you know I mean a formatter will be binded to only one handler. It means that if you have a stream handler, then it can have only line formatter. Yes. Yeah. Or any formatter that you choose. Yeah. Say for example, if you want to you know bind two or more handlers to one channel, is it possible? Like I want to have a stream handler at the same time a mailer handler. I want yeah, to yeah, trigger yeah. mail as well as I need to log something. Both handlers for one particular channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. More than one channel. Yeah. Yeah. Handler can be shared across yeah. channels. Okay. You, just, you just have to specify the channel and attribute for that particular handler. Mm -hmm. The config part. And so yeah. can you tell any processor that we can use it for the extra message? Uh, you can use it actually, you can use the custom mm -hmm. processor. The process is nothing but your custom service. Mm -hmm. You just have to, you just, it depends only how you want to process the extra the extra message. You can have the extra data to this message. So it all depends on you. So you can, it basically has to implement the main process, I guess. Okay, so, and uh, whatever I understood is like, in monolog, there are sort of predefined processors, mm -hmm. like, you know, ID processor, username register processor, you know, there are certain things based on your ID, it will fetch automatically the details of that and you can include the extra processor. Uh, if the predefined is not satisfying your need, you can also create a new processor from your end yeah. and then include as part of that. So there are around five to ten processors, I mean, at least six processors as part of predefined symphony monolog library. And we can use that. I mean, Actually, the channel is nothing but the instance of the logger. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the logger instance is nothing but channel. They both are dependent on each other. So, uh, channel is nothing but the logger which you use to log mm -hmm. the message. Okay, the instance of that particular. Yeah, instance of this logger. The logger is implements the logger interface and it will use the methods to log. What is needed of using a channel? In what scenarios we will have like, more uh, channels? See, like suppose uh, you want only one channel uh, to send a message, to send an email, mm -hmm. and you don't want other uh, channel loggers to uh, send the email. Only one logger for sending email, and one logger for just logging the message. In mm -hmm. that case, you can, for the handler in the config.yml, you can specify the channel name. So actually what happens is, all the handlers are available for the loggers by default. So you can't specify which channel should have this handler. So in okay. the config.yml, in the config.yml, you can specify that this handler can be called only by this channel. So in, the, in that case, channels are useful. Mm -hmm. Can you assume this way that it depends on the real-time scenario that any API related details should go for a channel API because those are highly sensitive data mm -hmm. and you know yeah. that should be you know, quickly notified via mail or you know any other means. Mm -hmm. And uh, some channel can be only for development purposes yeah. like via Fire PHP handler mm -hmm. or you know Chrome PHP handler. Certain things will be for production, but that's not you know that much sen you know sensitive data. So you just need to put them them in a stream handler. Mm -hmm. So any normal application will start with a stream handler as the you know I mean app channel as the default one. Mm -hmm. For anything related to API, you will have a dedicated API channel, and all logs related to API will go through that instead of app. Yeah, yeah. Is that something yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah, it's something like that. Exactly. In the controller, it's like uh, you just have to specify the channel name for the hand handler. But if it's for your custom services like request listener or not. You just have to inject the channel name into that service in the tag section. There will be channel attribute key, key value and the name of the channel will be the value. So you can inject your custom logger into that. So that channel will be used for logging only sending. That particular particular yeah. I think uh, most of the guys are working in Symphony and Laravel here, right? And uh, how does it, you know, difference, you know, like, do you see any difference between Symphony logger and Laravel logger? Because Laravel logger has its predefined services inside that. It is a default component, you don't need to, you know, I mean, get part of that. Here you need to install the monolog bundle and then make it eligible in the app kernel or PHP, I guess. But monolog, mm -hmm. I think, Laravel was ready to install it separately. No, it's part of its component, built-in component. Yeah, it's part of Symphony. It's, it's part, it's it's part, part of Symphony. Yeah, we need to be same no. way like Symphony, like, we have to load that component. Right? No. In monolog? No. It's installed. Mm -hmm. There was also a problem in Symphony to play with monolog support that you cannot have channels as part of, you know, that you cannot share channels. Yeah, that was the, actually the chain the thing actually caused the, the, the initial thing was a little difficult so they removed that and then okay. now it's very simple actually, you just have to specify the channel. How does it differ between the previous one and the current monolog, you know, configuration setup? I think in previous they used to give it outside in the, the services. Yeah. You will define a services and tag the channel yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Now this it's part of configuration. Yeah. So there is no need of that headache of creating more services and you yeah. know, loading the container configuration.
maybe 2.3 you can't uh, get the channel as service uh, right like this of get monologue dot channel something you told yeah yeah in 2.3 it's not possible right no, it's going to service and then call it yes it's going to service and then call it they yeah. can't that's what you're saying then the configuration itself it will be there and you can start that that is for the default logger For if you for a custom logger, it should define a service custom service. Mm -hmm. If you define a custom service, you can call using monolog that logger dot your channel name. Mm -hmm. Service means you have to have you have, have to have, 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 have a service, service right? Yeah, you have to have a service. But in two point four onwards, that's not required. Right? No, you, you can directly call the channel name. You can directly call the channel. Defining name. in service. No, no. Defining in services. That's what he said. Right? You know, he will define in configuration, and based on the channel name, you will directly call oh, a service. service. Which will you know pass here and say that is there a channel available in the config? If so, the service will be just sing out automatically. Internally, it calls the service. So it becomes easy after two mm -hmm. to maintain it. Thank you. Thank you.